Well, breaking this afternoon, the Food and Drug Administration approved the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 booster shots and gave the go-ahead to mix and match boosters. News 8 Now's Tyler Job joins us in studio to explain how this is all going to work. Well, Amy, a lacrosse expert says traditionally the U.S. doesn't mix and match vaccines, but because so many companies are making vaccines targeting the same virus, she says it's a good opportunity. Health experts are continuing to come up with innovative ways to fight the pandemic. The FDA has approved boosters for the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, and it will allow patients to receive a booster made by any of the three companies that produce the COVID-19 vaccine. You can get a different booster if you want, but we're going to recommend staying with the same brand if you can. Lacrosse expert Dr. Aaron Morecambe says mixing boosters can have some advantages. The Mayo Clinic Health System physician says data shows getting a booster from a different brand could elevate a person's antibody response even more than if they match doses. And she says mixing boosters also provides more flexibility. If there's a place that doesn't have either Pfizer or Moderna available, it's nice to be able to give the patients what it, they have on hand at different sites. Morecambe says it's an added benefit to get a booster of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine if your first dose was the J&J shot. While the J&J vaccine still provides strong protection, it is the least effective of all three. Most of the data was looking at people who got a first dose of Johnson & Johnson and then boosted with either Moderna or Pfizer and saw a significant increase, especially with the Moderna vaccine. Morecambe says in the future, it may be possible to mix and match first and second doses. The data isn't really in on that yet. The, the study that was presented recently to the FDA was just with that third booster dose. And for those who can get a booster, Morecambe believes mixing doses would be a safe bet. The side effects seen with mixing and matching have not really shown any difference between patients that got the same dose of the vaccine series. Now, before people can get the Moderna or J&J &J boosters, the CDC is first going to discuss with an expert panel later this week on how they should be rolled out. Booster doses are also not available to the general public, and Pfizer's booster is the only one available right now. According to the CDC, those who can get boosters are people 65 and older, are immunocompromised, or work in places with high exposure. We will have a link to the CDC's criteria on our website, news8000.com. Amy? All right. Thank you so much, Tyler.